So basically what we're gonna be doing today is heading down to the farm. Uh, it's the first time I'm actually gonna be able to work on it. It's freezing cold outside. Uh, and uh, the reason we're going down for a day, even though we're not gonna probably get much work done, is just cause I can't sit inside all day and just, I could be out doing something. So we're gonna get out and start pulling apart the fence. Uh, it's gonna be kind of tight because there's tons of trees wrapped around the fence and stuff to try to yank this thing out. Uh, but just first things first, start pulling out the fence and eventually in the spring, we'll come back with a mulcher. Uh, so that's what we're going down to do today, to work on the farm. So if you guys are new to the channel, go to the first video. I have the first video that kind of explains everything. And again, thank you guys uh, thank you guys for the support. It's, it's absolutely insane. I didn't think this channel would be at almost 40,000 subscribers now. So thank you guys. You ready, Smith? Morning, Buck Crack. Let's get her started. The plan for today is we're gonna load up the skid steer. I don't think we're gonna take the bucket. We're gonna take the grapple. So we're trying to get fuel in the truck and then the skid steer. And I realized I forgot my coat. So all I got is this. Oh, you have an extra? So this was the first time uh, towing with this skid loader behind here. And we had freezing rain and snow coming, so we're tr we were trying to beat it. It's pretty nice. Probably go down towards there. The biggest thing you what gotta I'm watch. What I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna drive too crazy. Then we'll just come in with the grab. I'm just when I pull, I'm just gonna throw it to my left, and yeah. then we'll come in with the grab and make a big pile. So I had to go show my dad the other farm, which I'll show you guys on. We're closing at the early February time frame, uh, but Spencer's been uh, Spencer's been going good. I think he's gonna try and take down one of these big trees here. It's just a little after one o'clock. I think we got started around 11, so about two hours of work. We've had the skid loader running, and uh, just got done with my lunch break. This is what we got done. All the posts pulled out. It looks like they're still there, but they're they're pulled out. All the brush is cleared, piled up on the side, and then I'm not sure he kept going along here. So we got some weather coming in. It's uh, it's starting to sleet a little bit, but it should only last like an hour. 
What would be super nice is a is like a, a mulcher, a mulcher for the for the front of the skid loader. Eventually, I want Grant to rent one so I can run it and stuff. Uh, but the tree puller honestly is better for like bigger trees, so that works good. And uh, I think we'll burn it sometime in the spring. Well, I'm not naming names here, but somebody got the skid steer stuck in here. The problem is, is the person operating, we dug such big ruts to try and get this thing out of here that it's kind of in a goalie. It's a lot steeper down there. We're gonna try and get this skid steer turned kind of with tracks. With tracks, it's tough. Okay, so a little context to how we got in this situation. Uh, not naming names here, but his name starts with an S. And uh, he was operating the skid steer and it was kind of alongside the, uh, he, we were up on the roadway and we were starting to kind of clear some logs that we laid on the gravel roadway. And uh, he was he was up on the roadway and one of the tracks was kind of along the edge. And then he kind of noticed, hey, I'm starting to slip into the ditch a little bit. And all that weight of that skid steer is in the back, especially with a grapple that weighs, I don't know, probably under a thousand pounds. There's a ton of weight in that back of that skid steer. He tried kind of going up as he was slipping in the ditch, going up and kind of out, and that turned the back end of the skid steer down into the ditch, which then kind of sucked the skid steer down. So then he was sliding in the ditch. We were like, oh, just, you know, yank it backward, yank it back and go into the ditch. And we were like, we'll get it out from there. So the ditch ends up being this like swell like this that the skid steer doesn't really fit in there. Now, here's where I made the mistake. I went in with the skid steer. Uh, you guys didn't see on camera. I was trying to rush to get this out. I apologize. I went in and used the grapple to kind of try, try to pry yourself out of that ditch. I couldn't get that skid steer out of there. I was doing all sorts of things. It's just the way the ditch is shaped. It's and that with that biggest skid steer, it's kind of tough. Um, and so what I did is I created ruts that are like probably this deep at this point stuck in there. So you can't get that skid steer out now. It can't. All I'm trying to do is get this skid steer turned sideways so I can drive down the ditch to the far end where we can get this skid steer out. So now that skid steer can't get out of those ruts, and it's starting to get a little soft down there. So I should have been smarter, and I should have just not. Got, I should have been lazy, and I should have just unhooked the diesel pickup. That's like three times as big as Spencer's Ranger, which is basically a side by side, and uh, and pull it out that way. It would have been a lot better. But first, we try pulling it out from the back, and then eventually we go on the gravel road and uh, try to pull it out with the Ranger. Eventually what I do is, but we take tons of, I think they're called hedge posts, the fence that we were taking out. We just put a ton of hedge posts underneath that skid steer so that it can kind of walk its way out of these ruts that are down there. And eventually that ranger pulls it out. I apologize, I, I didn't get that on film. I was just like, I wanted to get this out of there. Oh, we got it. I got one, I got one track, my left track just kind of, I felt that, I was like, oh, a little too far. Yeah, and I tried to, to get ditch. out. Tried to get out, tried to get out, and then all of a sudden I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm in it. Man, if that ditch was wet, like a lot wetter, yeah. that would have been rough. We would have been done. Cause all right, it's still snowing. On the radar, it said it was going to be done like an hour, hour and a half ago, but we got all the brush piled up. We got about half, three quarters of the fence in a pile as well. Then we're just finishing the last quarter to this power line right here. So that's what they're working on. Got it pulled up to right here. This is, this. Is, it looks like it's brush, but pretty much all this is barbed wire and post. The grapples, the grapples work the best for sure for doing this. He comes in, bites it, lifts, drops, and then just does that and then sw sweeps it all together, so. Got it all cut. Alright, 
We got slick. This is metal in the snow. He's slipping. Cloudy, rain, snow, now starting to finish the day. But we're gonna make it back. It was freezing rain, snow all the way along, so it's gonna be a slow drive back, but. So I wanna walk you guys through what we have to do come springtime. There's, there's a crazy amount of projects that could be done to this farm. I just gotta choose kind of what's important and go from there and leave some of the other ones for say next year in the fall or, or winter time. But one thing I'd like to do is get this ditch cleaned up that we're flying by. You can see all those trees up in the ditch. It hasn't been mowed forever. I'd like to pull the fences on that and get all the ditch work cleaned up at least. And so a couple little updates on the farm. Uh, this spot where we're out working kind of along the fence line, uh, there's, it's, it's probably four acres, like the field itself. And that's where I'm planning to put a building. Now this week here, starting Monday, I'm going to start calling a couple building companies around the central Iowa area try to talk plans, get quotes, and kind of figure out how this building's gonna be put up because I really, really would love to have it uh, get get going soon, kind of as fast as possible. So with that being said, if you guys have put up a building yourself or have, uh, have worked with somebody around the Central Iowa area, feel free to put that in the comment section because I'd love to read through it if you put a building up. But I'll make a whole separate video on it, the building. Uh, I do want it to have a living quarters. I do probably want just a little, little portion of it to be heated and then the rest will just, I think, all be cold storage. But that all depends on pricing and what's the most efficient. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, hopefully you did enjoy it. And uh, we're going to the next one. Next one's going to be, uh, uh, next video is going to be interesting. Got something coming on the way and uh, it'll be fun. So I appreciate, I appreciate you guys viewing and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.